Hi everyone, this is Brad from Board Game Geek. I'm here with uh, Kurt of Smirk and Dagger Games, and Pyushu is uh, developing their uh, Cutthroat Caverns app. Uh, so just to start out, can you guys give me an update on the app and how it's going and uh, what we can look forward to? Sure. Um, well, uh, Pyush is with Meepo Studios, um, and uh, we partnered with them uh, to uh, create the Cutthroat Caverns app. Um, it's, I guess you guys have been working on it for about a year now. Um, yeah. Yep. And uh, so the back, the back architecture is uh, is moving right along, and we hope to have it. Um, I think for August. Is that correct? Yes. It's about right. This summer. Yep. 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 And um, the exciting news that uh, Piyush was just telling me is that it looks like it's going to be uh, available for Android and iOS right around the same time. So that's right. That's right. It's uh, being written as a cross-platform app. Uh, hoping for a very close release for iOS and Android, uh, iOS first, and then uh, uh, get right in the Play Store, the Google Play Store, right after that. And uh, all the back-end code is coming right along, and uh, we're playing around with different ways to do some of the design and uh, the, the, the little polishing and stuff like that. Uh, but outside that, we're uh, refining uh, artificial intelligence and uh, you know all those little pieces that go that fit together to make the whole thing a cohesive experience. That's Cool. Um, what kind of features can we expect at the start? I know you, you just mentioned AI. Um, is there going to be multiplayer elements? What, what kind of are we looking forward to? Multiplayer is the third component. Like, there's the iOS app, right? And then Android app, uh, the port, and then the multiplayer piece of it. Uh, multiplayer is on the board, and uh, bits and pieces of the code are being written and tested for that. Uh, but that's something that uh, we're not so sure if it's going to be this summer or not. It'll be probably later. So. Yeah. Um, what uh, what players can expect though is that um, as they come in as a, uh, a single player, they'll have the opportunity to have several AI players uh, that have slightly different play styles that they're playing against, and it simulates it simulates uh, you know the different kind of players that you'd encounter at a table. Right. Awesome. Is this? going to be, um, I know there's a lot of expansions to Cutthroat Caverns. Are those planned to be included? Or are those on the table as well as possible additions to the app? There'll be uh, in-app purchases down the road. Right now, it's just going to be the base game with the 26 uh, creatures we have available. Um, and there's even uh, some, some nice features that we're looking at, including like a deck editor. So if you really hate trap rooms, you can take them out. Um, uh, you know, things of that sort. Um, the other thing, too, is that, um, let's see. In I terms just of what? Features? Yeah. Features for the actual game, huh? We're going to try to mirror, OK, so we're going to try to, the, the idea here, the, the ethos for this actual app is uh, we're going to try to make it consistent. And you know, I mean, it's going to be, it's based on the actual game. And it is the game. Yeah. You know? We're trying to keep it consistent, but just make sure that, um, I, I personally, at least, want to make it a, a a little more innovative on the user experience side, uh, not to be like a, like an Apple fanboy type thing, but you know, like uh, have it be something where uh, it's easy to navigate and easy to play because there are a lot of there are a lot of details to the game, you know. So I want to make it as smooth as possible to actually jump in and start playing. The other thing too is um, because the the length of the game, you know. Uh, with nine encounters and a bunch of players, you know, um, it'd be interesting to see how long gameplay is actually on the app. Typically, apps play quicker than the actual games. But we also wanted to have uh, an ability to foreshorten the game. If you just wanted to like play a skirmish game with five creatures and half life, we're going to allow that to happen too. Configurability, yeah, for the actual game. I mean, from for the health, yep. uh, for life points, and uh, uh, number of encounters, and yeah, yeah. And the very, yeah. very cool. Um, is there going to be a way to help? new players get into the game. I know that apps are a great way to introduce you know, people that may have not heard of Cutthroat Caverns to the experience. We're looking at a tutorial. Yep. We're looking at a, a live tutorial uh, in-app uh, while you're playing in a beginner's mode. Um, and of course, the rule book is in there as well, um, which has been streamlined so that the things that you don't have to worry about because the cards are not physically in front of you, the, the app takes over a lot of you know the you know the bookkeeping and such. So uh, already it's going to be a little bit more intuitive, um, it, and I, I just find you know with apps in general, because you know there's a, there's a lot of less guesswork. You know all the rules are kind of programmed into it, so it helps navigate you through, including like little pop-up things um, during gameplay that say you know. 
um, you know, this is this is the time you know where an action card can be played. It'll highlight, you know, so it, it cues you for the the various uh, kind of states that you're, sure. you're going to be in. Like uh, I can give a couple of examples of yeah. stuff like that where uh, uh, cards can uh, hum, and, like vibrate, and, like you know, like a uh, uh, rumble a little bit to indicate that you know that something can be done with it or glow, you know, in the right type of condition in the actual game. So yeah. Very cool. So making it streamlined, really easy to play, probably really quick to play, like you're saying, you know, you lose a lot of that bookkeeping type work. Minimize setup time. Because uh, you're really cutting, I mean, when you're actually playing the game, you got to take time to set it up. With an app, you go here, okay, okay, and it's done. Yeah. <laughs> and you're there. And then you don't, in the middle of it, you don't, you don't have to figure a lot of stuff out. You know, I mean, the, the, the computer actually keeps track, you know, the software keeps track of everything that needs to be done. Right. And then, you know, it's really done. The turnover on the game should be a lot faster. So if you want to sit down and play real quick. Cool. And will there be, I'm sorry, I know we talked about multiplayer coming after the Android version. Um, will there be kind of pass and play local multiplayer available initially? Or is it going to be a solo experience initially? Well, I don't think it's going to be pass and play. Um, it's really hard to do that with, you know, or even asynchronous is really hard with Cutthroat Caverns because, you know, you constantly have those interruptions that occur. Um, however, um, one of the, 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 the first steps, there's gonna, you know, when we finally get to the to the multiplayer, there's, it's both going to be network and like kind of within your local sphere. So you, you know, if you've got a couple people who have the app locally, you can do it. You know, what is it Wi-Fi, right? Yeah, lo on, yeah. The lo on the local, local Wi-Fi yeah. network. So there's no remote server involved. It'll be within, you know. Awesome. That's a good. That sounds like a great so idea, actually. As opposed to hosting it on the on the internet. Great. Um, yeah, I think. That's pretty good coverage on the app, and we look forward to seeing it this summer. It sounds really cool. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it.